All right, folks. God bless you and welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Okay, so a cob, a cob, one, three, one, two, a worldwide movement. Some, some people have tried to make an argument. Oh no, it means all cops are bastards. No, it doesn't. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put one, three, one, two. I told you, they gave away the legend, like the legend to the map, the secret Annie, a little orphan Annie decoder ring. You know, this number equals this. This number equals this. They gave it away. It's that's why they're using one three one one two with a cob, A C one three, A B one two, a cob. It has nothing to do with all cops or bastards, or the other you know stuff that I showed you in the folder, which I'm not going to repeat. Anyways, but so yesterday, as I was working on this material to deliver to you guys, by a bizarre, impossible <laughs> set of circumstances. <laughs> The Lord gave me the most mind-boggling segue into the revelation that I, I told you that I had to give you that's going to change the world. It's going to change the face of Christianity, like some of these other revelations that the Lord God's given me. Genesis 1, 26, let us create man in our image, vain show, representative figure, especially an idol. All the churches tell you that's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit balderdash nonsense unless the father son and the holy spirit is a vain show a representative figure especially and i don't you know what let me show that to you but stay here because we're going to do a 17 minute video montage that dave the wave and i and some people put together for you guys i'm going to show you what woke really means are you woke now remember the bible says arise O sleeper wake up from the dead and christ will give you light i was awakened in 2002 in an alley do you remember what i said <clears throat> my testimony stands now i said michael stepped up to me when i when my the stairs hit the ground he said pray with me my brother our father we pray to a male figure our father who art in heaven water and light came down on me i told everybody my testimony stands the lord made me put my testimony on youtube i said no i don't want to he told me you have to i was like i don't want to you have to i'm so glad i did so i played our father i prayed our father water and light came down on me i was filled i was anointed with the holy spirit i was glowing and then he said, now, you say, Hail Mary. And even though it didn't make sense, and even though no one had ever told me in my life that was wrong, because I was born and raised Catholic, why would I think it was wrong? We used to get on our knees in front of a virgin and light candles, put money in the poor box. I thought I was doing something good. I was taught to do that. So the night I got saved, when I prayed, Our Father... Pray with me, my brother, and water and light came down on me, and I was just glowing, filled with the Holy Spirit. I was like, oh. and Michael looked at me and said, now you say a Hail Mary. How did I know it was wrong all of a sudden? I looked at him like, and he just nodded like, do it. And as I said the words, what did my testimony on YouTube say? What did I say? I said I felt life and light leaving my body. I felt a qualitative, quantitative amount, not qualitative, a quantitative amount of what had just filled me up, life. For the first time in my life, I was alive the very first time. Even though I was a pro sky surfer and did all this crazy stuff that, you know, I was an adrenaline junkie. But when I got saved, I was like... This is like adrenaline junkie to the 10th power. And I was like, I was alive in Christ. And I, I was born again. Supernatural, supernatural re regeneration of life in me. So when Michael said, now you say, Hail Mary, because the spirit of truth had just taken up residency in me, inherently something was telling me but because I was indoctrinated as a child, and that's what I was taught to do, when he nodded, 
I went ahead and did it. That was to show me where death came from. So when the words came out of my mouth where I was praying to the virgin, all the life that had come into me that was just beaming out of me, I felt it starting to leave. And I was like, no, where's it going? No. Y'all want to know what woke means? You know, the woke mob. Today, the woke this and the woke that. Have y'all ever seen Kathy Garou that used to go on Tucker Carlson like a year ago? Talking about cry closets on campuses so they can students can go in and have a good cry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They're woke. Everybody's woke now. What's woke? Y'all want to know what woke really is? Y'all want to know what it is? The Lord showed me yesterday. I guarantee it. It's biblical. Did you know it's biblical? It's a biblical thing. Did you know it goes back to the night I got saved in the alley? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, I prayed our father, male figure. That was life. And then when I prayed to the female figure, it was death. So it was life to death. So male was life, but then to female was death, from life to death. It was weird. But that way I could reverse engineer death for this generation. Yeah. I love it when my opponents want to argue because I have all the proof. <laughs> I have all the data. It's like, okay, go ahead and argue. It's like arguing with a rock. <laughs> it's like, okay. All right, y'all ready? Let's do it. Y'all ready? <laughs> let's get them let's go get them oh i'm excited guys this is this is the outpouring of god's grace this is the outpouring of of information everything that's secret will be made public i've been praying i said what lord why is this important this next revelation because the one that i have to that i have to move into the one that i told you was coming it is so over the top. It's such an avalanche of truth. It's like, oh my gosh. But I said, Lord, it, I know that this doesn't change someone's salvation knowing what he's revealed to me. I said, so why do you want me to, it's so over the top. Why do you want me to tell everybody? And I heard the Lord tell me, so everything is fulfilled. The word has to be fulfilled. And I was like, everything that's secret must be made public. Y'all want to see it? I can't wait to deliver it. So what I'm going to deliver today, just for the record, is the segue. This is going to pave the way into the revelation that I told you that was coming. And the way he gave it to me yesterday, and I think it was yesterday and the day before, I was just like, <gasps> it goes back to the alley. It goes back to the night. What did I tell you? I prayed, Our Father. See, I'm going to drill this into you before I give it to you. My testimony is like a testimony in a court of law now. That's why he made me put it on YouTube. I prayed, Our Father, water and light came down on me. I was filled with life. For the first time in my life, I was alive. I was alive in Christ. So I had never felt that. And I was like, oh. I kind of look like if you guys have ever seen the movie, The Passion of Christ, you know, just like to kind of connect with you guys on a one-on-one. -on -one. Have y'all ever seen The Passion of Christ, right? At the end of the movie where, you know, Jesus dies on the cross and the earthquake happens, the head centurion, he throws Cassius a spear. Well, first he's going to break, he tells him to break the, the guy's legs. Well, in the Bible it says he didn't have a broken bone. So... There's no way they could break a bone. Otherwise, the, the scriptures would be wrong. So when they went to, they broke the other prisoner's uh, legs, you know, to make sure they bleed out. They break their femoral artery. And when they break it, they bleed out super quick. And so when he went to break the legs of the other two guys, they broke it. But then he was going to hit Jesus and <laughs> big earthquake. And he couldn't, he, he dropped the club to break his leg. That was in the movie, The Passion of Christ. So then the centurion gave him a spear. He picked up a spear. And remember, he pierced him in the side because then when you die from crucifixion, what happens is your lungs fill up with fluid. So when you stab them in the side and you pierce their lungs, water comes pouring out of their lungs. That's how you know they're dead. So when Cassius stabs Jesus on the cross in the Passion of Christ, 
all that water comes out on him and hits him in the face. Do y'all remember that? Did y'all see that scene? It was really profound. And he was like, oh, yeah. and he was like, and he just was like totally stupefied. When I I was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly how I was. I was like, I was literally completely and utterly stupefied. I was just like, ugh, ugh. And, uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, I was alive again for the first time in my life. So again, in this video that you're about to see right now, this is going to say, this is going to segue right into the big revelation that's coming. And he gave me a perfect segue into it. And it goes back to the night I got saved. What did I tell you? Life from our father and then to the female death. So male, life, female, death. So male to female was from life to death. And I had to be filled that moment with life and then immediately say that Hail Mary so I could see the transference. I was like, where's it going? Where's it going? It was so profound. So without any more ado, let me play you a little video we put together. Go get, I'm going to go, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. I'm going to sit here and slurp on some coffee with you guys. And we're going to watch this video. And then I'm going to show you. <laughs> Just doop, sit there. Okay, go get your coffee. I'm pausing this. I'm going to go heat up my coffee. We're going to hang out, watch video. You know what? I think everybody needs a hug before we get started. We'll do a hug at the beginning. You guys, I love you guys. Group hug. I am so excited I get to share this with you guys. This is... Hold it. Hold it. Cheek. That's a good hug. Okay, let's do this. Okay, get excited. This is going to be fun. This is going to be so cool. All right. Have you ever wondered what the whole woke thing is? Like, what's up? Everybody's woke. <laughs> yeah, they're woke, all right. Quick, quick story before we start. Do you, for those of y'all that have been in this channel, do you remember when I, the Lord had me do the little church building out back and he was giving me these directions? I want you to put the dragon, you know, the, the Led Zeppelin. I was like, what? Led Zeppelin? <laughs> random and there's it's an angel he's all and then he's, he's holding a z and a p and i'm like what and the lord showed me look up z and look up p uh you know uh z 26 16 right and so i was like look it up in the bible and it it means uh fall fall and like uh it has what was it fallen okay like dynasty dynasteo kata dynasteo that's it dynasty of the fallen like and so they were making fun of god's angels and that's why the image is really like a t-rex or a dragon munching down on an angel i was like that's crazy kata down dynasty that's it kata dynasty oh down dynasty and i was just like that's insane that's why he's holding the z and the p it's the same alphanumeric system that the lord taught me to read their language and so you know i was i was just kind of doing like a final touch up on that on that uh on that uh sculpture and i always wear my face shield because when i grind metal there's so many hot chunks of metal that fly and i had to do some little repair i forgot what it was and i had to cut some little piece of metal and i i kept going up and down the ladder i was like exhausted i'm like Duh. and i ran out the door because i won't cut metal inside the building because I don't want to clean up the dust. So I ran out the door and I started cutting. I just like little teeny repair. And I'm like, ah, and I took a piece of metal to the eye and I was like, oh crap. And so then I had to go by my friend's emergency clinic and I heard the Lord tell me, I want you to put the other eye on the dragon. Do y'all remember that? I documented it. I showed it to you. I did a little video on it. And I'm like, why is that so important? Like, I had to take like a burning hot piece of metal to the eye for you to, you know, it's like, hey, you know, maybe we could do like a little easier way of communication. <laughs> it's like, I want you to put the other eye on the dragon. So both the dragon's eyes are on the sculpture. 
What does that suggest? That both the dragon's eyes are open, okay? Now, remember this. What does the Bible say? It says, you know, in the end of the book of Revelations, it says, and the dragon shall give his power unto the beast. So the dragon shall give his power unto the beast. You know who the beast is? It's the entire host body system that hasn't been reconciled. So if you haven't been reconciled, you haven't been turned up and you're up and down in the same host body and you haven't been converted to up, two ups. That's why the Bible says if your eye be single, your whole body's full of light because you got both eyes that are up. Both eyes are up. You can see. So you can see Jonathan show you, hey, the virgin's a dead sheep. We got a problem. The bombings are on your money. We got a problem. Ah, freak out, right? That's how you know you can see because both eyes have been turned up. Okay, so if I went and put the other eye on the dragon and <clears throat> had to take a chunk of the metal in the eye just to get the message, what would that suggest? Well, that the dragon's eyes are both open. Well, who does the dragon control? The beast. Who's the beast? Are you watching TV lately? Just look. Oh, the sea is turning terrible before your very eyes right now on TV. See it every day. Welcome to Akab. Destruction, decay, and ruin. Host body system, Akab. Destruction, decay, and ruin. Because the angel of the bottomless pit is coming out of the pit, taking over the host body system. And remember the night I got saved one more time, what happened? I prayed, Our Father, male. And then I was filled with life. And then I I was told, say Hail Mary, and I said the words, and I felt death. So I went male to life to death, male to female death, life to death. Did y'all get that? His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. By the way, do y'all know what Jerusalem means? Jeru. Salem, city of Salem, peace, city of peace. We are the new Jerusalem. If you've been converted and you have the key of David. Okay, y'all ready? Okay, get the coffee. Let's go. Let's go. Quit stalling, Clack. Let's go. All right. Woohoo. All right, guys. No more Johnny chit chat. I just want to make sure you guys remembered because now comes the just the delivery of the truth again and now the past has been proven to be totally accurate. <laughs> awesome. Here we go. Let's do this. Let me uh let's do this. We'll hit play. Okay, pay attention guys, really pay attention. I'll talk about it after it plays. Pay super close attention. Here we go.
Woke culture is ruining everything. Precisely do you mean by woke? What, what exactly do you mean here? What is woke culture? This is what no one has been able to explain to me. What is woke culture? Woke is accepting. Woke culture is an acknowledgement. that Woke culture is a movement to accept new identities invented Woke people have been terrifying everyone else. They're tired of the woke mob. The super progressive woke left is- You can never be woke enough. The age of woke capital, of this sort of woke salvation, but- He's the ultimate anti-woke hero. He is the wokeness. That's right, this, this woke thing is out of control. It's it because the acting world is very woke in many mm. ways. Which is this woke mob. That a woke mob is in charge. Um, totally surrendered to a woke child mob. Or is it this kind of woke PC mob of people? Those Still. guys aren't woke. Everyone's all woke. woke It'll be great. Woke is a dangerous <laughs> word to use. Woke? Woke. Yeah. yeah. I feel like using woke now, like... Un <laughs> but um, what does woke mean? It means to show that if you're woke. Right. I call it a woke -achino. <laughs> the woke billionaire is a phenomenon of our time. Uh, so these woke billionaires, these boring woke views. The woke mob, not woke enough. Take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Then believe whatever you want to believe.
Okay, hopefully the program is behaving well. Okay, guys. Y'all ready? So you watch the little montage and maybe you caught it all or maybe you read everything that was on your screen. If you didn't, you should go back and watch it again. But let me just lay it out for you. Okay. Let me just show you what's going on here. And if you would like to follow along with me, you may go to folder five, part two. And <clears throat> let me show you. Uh, let me show you something just absolutely fascinating. So remember, we were looking at the COVID van and we're looking at COVID and these were titled MTF Mobile Testing Facility, COVID MTF-1. That was a way Dave the Wave had titled all these, uh, all these images. Looks like the program is kind of stalling on me there a little bit. So let's see if it'll move over. If it won't, there we go. So this is MTF2 COVID, Abaddon Sheep Slaughter. Now, I want to say it one more time. The night I got saved, what is my testimony? That after I was led through the hotel, after, you know, without going into my whole testimony, when I took the step of faith to open the door, that meant more than likely, my certainly my death for opening the door. It was. I did literally die. Uh, I died to the world when I opened that door. And I was born again in Christ. I became in the world, no longer of the world. Because when I opened that door, I was willing to die to know the truth. And then when I went out the door and I started walking, those stairs turned 45 degree angle and hit the ground. It was a fire escape. You just start walking horizontally and they're, they're, they're weight controlled and they just went. <laughs> and I stepped off and I told everybody my testimony is Michael stepped up to me, an angel. And he said, pray with me, my brother. I know that's kind of tough. I, if I was you, I'd be like, really, dude? But I'll let the record speak for itself now. Every bit of evidence is proven out perfect. So he said, pray with me, my brother. He came alongside of me and we prayed our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We prayed the prayer that Jesus said, I believe in Matthew 7, when thou pray, pray us like this, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You should know the prayer. Water and light came down on me, water and light. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I was literally just beaming. It's the first time I was alive. Male. Male. And then he looked at me and said, now you say, Hail Mary. And I just went, how would I even know it was wrong? The only way I knew inside of me something didn't seem right right then was because I was born and raised Catholic. I mean, I'm sorry. The only reason I did, I thought something was wrong is because a new spirit had taken up residency in me, the spirit of all truth, the Holy Spirit. Now I had a way to discern things, but when he told me to do it, I looked at him like, why? And then I said, so I went from male, our father, to female, Hail Mary. And I went from life to feeling death. I told you, death is coming up out of the pit, taking over the host body system. Anubis, the god of death. That's why it's on the COVID mobile testing facility. Let me show you. Are y'all ready? Y'all want to know what woke means? You ready? <laughs> Let me show you what woke means. Let me show you what woke means. Woke means my testimony is absolutely perfect now. Let me just remind everybody of a little picture y'all saw yesterday. The mobile testing facility. COVID-19, Abaddon Sheep Slaughter. C, Abaddon Ovid Sheep 19 Slaughter. That is not an aardvark. That is Anubis, the god of death. Now... MTF. Let's see. You know what? I do not want to uh, stretch the screen because it glitches. So I'll do control plus. Here we go. Here we go. Definition of MTF. 
a transgender woman is a descriptors male to female and female to male are often used in medical and sociological literature to describe trans people and sometimes they are used to talk about themselves. Many trans peoples prefer the term trans man or trans woman. MTF, male to female. What Merriam-Webster dictionary, go look it up. It's all over online. It's easy to find. Let me show you what the Lord showed me. MTF. M is the number 13 right here. M, male to female. M is 13. T is 20. And F is 6. 1 th 13 26. Male to female is 13 26. Remember COVID, Abaddon, sheep slaughter? Okay. Get ready, folks. 1326 in the Bible, turning male to female. Definition, to arouse completely. I wake up out of sleep. I stir up. Woke. 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 To arouse completely out of sleep. I'll say it again. To arouse completely out of sleep. Male to female energy. I told you so. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> I told you the earth is cannibalistic. The entire thing is a cannibalistic system. The Ouroboros, the serpent eating its own tail. The bait was the female. Neither shall you touch it. The word touch in the Bible means lie with the woman, lest you die. The angels that chose to do that got cast into a system called the earth, the host body system, and we are slowly deteriorating throughout our, our lives by a, uh, an effect called sin that exists within the host body system. And if you don't get converted from it, you will die eternally. Neither shall you touch it, lest you die. 5060-5060, euphemistically, to lie with a woman, I told you. Male, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Life to Hail Mary, death, from life to death. And the Lord called me as an end of the world harbinger to let everybody know death is coming for the entire world. Just like Noah. No different. Told you. Woke. So now the whole world is woke. Now, let me show you some stuff. You ready? Try and wrap your brain around what I just showed you. Let's just take a minute and let's just absorb what I just showed you. Let's, let's uh, drop out. Here we go. Let me go to this. Again, look at 1326, male to female. What the, so the alpha numeric numerology, MTF, male to female, which is the anacronym for transgender male to, what do you think Michelle Obama was a male? Male to Michelle, Michael to Michelle. Male to female. Why do you think Barack Obama calls Michelle his husband? Oh, y'all didn't know that. I got it on video. What I'm going to show you guys is going to blow your minds. <laughs> and then, again, I want to be very clear. All glory to the Lord God. This is not a Jonathan Cleck figured it out thing. No. This is the Lord God gave it to me as a gift to give to you as a gift. I am not. No one is this smart. This is unsearchable. This is unknowable. The only way that you're getting to see this is by the grace of the Lord God himself, Jesus Christ. Told you. Woke. 
See it right there? Woke to arouse completely out of sleep. Oh, is that the reason the Lord told me to go put the other eye on the dragon? I was like, why do I got to go put the other eye? Because the dragon is waking up. It's woke. It has awakened. It has been fully stirred up. And it is taking over the host body system. And it is manifesting in a cob, a worldwide movement. One, three, one, two. Destruction, decay, and ruin. Because the entire human host body system is being destroyed. The abomination that causes desolation from the pit has come up and taken over the entire host body system. Told you. I told you. I was like, vindication. Yes. Feels good. All you false prophet hunters, man, I'd start. I don't know what I'd do if I was you. There's nothing you can do. Anyway, so I wake up out of sleep, arouse in general, stir up, woke. D. D. Guerrero. D. Egg. E. Roy. Yagiero, Yagiero. Anyway, so let's get into it now. Let me show you what they're doing right in front of our faces. They love to mock us. Isaiah, those who rule my people mock them, says the Lord. Ready? Let's get into it. Let's have some fun now. Okay, so this was in your video. This is the lurking class face mask. Okay, lurking class, because they are the lurking class. Now, here's the thing. You just need to know how to perceive this. Take your hand and cover up this eye. Then you have a face that's got one eye closed and one eye open, and it's turning from one eye closed, one eye open, and then just cover up this one to two eyes open. Let me show you. So, and then it's peeking out from behind the mask that everyone in the world happens to be wearing right now. It's like, come on, guys. This is a no-brainer now. It's like, uh, it's just like, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. It doesn't require intellectual thought anymore. So let me break it down. Look at this. I asked Dave if he would, uh, you know, if he would uh, make this easy for y'all to see, and he did a great job. I showed him what it was, and then he he made these for you. Look at this. Watch this. So here is the face mask that they're selling. So Dave took it. I told him, show everybody the face on the right side where one eye's closed. This is your condition before you're saved. Your your eye is not you. That represents you. Your eye's not your eye's not single. But you got to get converted with two eyes up. They, our enemy, is converting two eyes down. So they had one eye, so they have one eye in the system, and we have one eye in the system. Well, if the angel of the bottomless pits taking over the whole system, it's two eyes down. So now it's showing death with both its eyes open. Death has awakened. Death is an entity. Death is an entity, and it is taken over. The hose body system. So there is a face with one eye open, one eye closed. And now it is ta it is taken over because it's coming out from behind the mask. See, they're going to come out from behind the mask, lurking class. And y'all remember the image in lurking class where you turn one right side up and, you know, it's, it shows the Grim Reaper with his hood on and he's looking, it says lurking class, and you turn it upside down and it's a pupa hatching. Scorpions from the pit taking over the host body system. Told ya. Up, right side up, upside down. That is the rock spoken of by uh, Jesus in Matthew 16, upon this rock, I will build my church and I will give to you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. What do you do with the key? You put it in a lock and you turn it upside down and the door opens. It's like, whoop, bolt retracts, open the door. This is as obvious as it gets now. It doesn't get any more obvious. Okay, why is this? So here is the mask that they're selling. I, I broke it down for you so you could see. It's really two different faces. One eye open, one eye closed, and then you just look at this face, both eyes open, two-faced. 
And now you know where the term two-faced. Oh, you're so two-faced. You know, people talk about, you know, uh, you say one thing, then you say another thing. It's called two-faced. Okay, now let me show you something really interesting. This guy's wearing a shirt that says, I am in black. I am like the name of the Lord God. I am. That's who the Lord revealed to me. He is. I am. I used uh, 1 Corinthians 2 to show you. Those who are spiritual discerneth all things. Anacrino. They vigorously judge from down to up. And in this system, when you do that, you prove the very existence of the Lord God being the great I am. In this system, the female mother goddess is claiming to be I am. And look at this. Watch this. It says, I am a girl. And you know how much this shirt costs? Nineteen dollars. Look right here. Nineteen ninety. Do you know why? Do you know why it's nineteen ninety? You know why they picked that number to sell that shirt? I do. Nineteen means slaughter and ninety means ninety means purity. Slaughter purity. The Lord God is male. Oh, back to the alley with Jonathan, our Father who art in heaven. Male wa wa water and light. I'm filled with life. Water, light, purity. And then I said, Hail Mary, female, I felt death. Male to female, life to death. Y'all get it? <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It's like, oh my gosh. Now watch. I am a girl. The shirt is $19.90. Let me show you something. I'm going to do this right in front of you. Strong's. S-T-R-O-N-G. Strong's 19 is slaughter right there. It means slaughter. See it? Strong's 19 means slaughter, to slaughter. Okay? Strong's 90 means purity, incorruptibility, soundness, and purity, incorruptibility, soundness, integrity, purity, male to female. I am a girl. 1990 slaughter purity oh remember the bud light commercial ian in the elevator with lily what does lily mean purity remember ian the boy you know what ian means gift from god oh ian gets in the elevator he goes to a party with twin girls told you <laughs> Busted, guys. Do you know how exciting this is? This is knowing the mystery of everything, of everything. And I'm about to deliver where all of this from the night I got saved and everything, where it led me to the ultimate final revelation. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. It's like, ah. Check it out. I am a girl. MTF. See, I am a girl. MTF trans. 19, ma male to female. 19, slaughter purity, slaughter integrity. That's what their job is. What do you think the host body system does? Well, your soul, you, the angel gets caught in a host body, and your whole life you're, you're being self-cannibalized because you got your own evil doppelganger from the pit that has in there with you. So you become your own worst enemy. And the only way to win is to give up and say, I'm guilty. I deserve my punishment. You des I deserve to go to hell. You would be just in condemning me. That's what I did. I just said, you know what? That's it. I'm thrown in the towel, man. I've, I've done everything I thought I should do. You know, hell, I made, yeah, I did everything I thought I should do in this world. And then I was like, I sold out, you know, made the millions, made, a, you know, I made a million dollars in a year and I, my, my intellectual property made so much money. It was ridiculous in a year for Ray-Ban. And I could have just kept going. I could have just kept chasing the dog bone. Just chase it. Chasing your own tail. That's what they want you to do. And I just said, this doesn't make any sense anymore. All you do is chase money, make money, spend money, 
girl, this girl, that girl, just nothing makes sense anymore. Or it's like, right, it doesn't, does it? This world is a joke. Okay, watch this. Ready? Same guy, male to female, senior class, 2020, class of 2020, toilet paper, you know, for like wiping your rear end with, 2-2, two, two. oh, you know what 2-2 two, two means? L is my father, so they're mocking L, the almighty God, now watch this, I'm going to show you something, okay, so Abiel, L is my father, the almighty God. Watch this. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on one second. Hit the wrong button. Here we go. Ezekiel 28. Prophesy unto the prince of Tyre, Satan, and thus saith the Lord God. Look at this. See the Lord God? That is the self-existent eternal Jehovah. See the Lord, that, that is Adonai. See Adonai, it means the Lord. God is all capital, that's Yehovah, which is Jehovah. Self-existent, eternal Jehovah. It's a variation of Jehovah, Yehovah, because it's used in the sentence that way. The self-existent, eternal Jehovah. Say, thus saith the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. Look at this. See the word God? Look at the word right here. I'm going to change the color. God, the Almighty. What is his name? What is his name? What's the Almighty's name? L, the Almighty. The Almighty's name is L. That's his name. Look at look what they're doing right here. Two and two. They're like, wipe their rear end. Shit just got real. Wiping their rear end with L. They hate the Lord God. Watch this. Watch this. Thou hast said on thy heart is lifted up. Thou hast said, I am L. I sit in the seat of, does that say L right there? Yes or no? It's a yes or no answer. I'm going to make it a, an obvious different color. I am El. I sit in the seat of Elohim. See it? Elohim. Told ya. Elohim in Genesis 1 is not the Lord God. The Lord God did not create male and female in Genesis 1. That was Elohim. It says it. Watch, I'll prove it. Prove it. So you'd have to tell me the Bible's wrong. Genesis 1 and the spirit of Elohim. That's not Hebrew word 410, is it? Right there? Right there. What is it? Elohim, right there. See it? Says it. Elohim. Hebrew word 430. It means gods of the supreme God. It's what broke away. Look at this. 126. And Elohim said, let us make man in our image. See the word image right here? You see that word? You better pay attention. What is the word image? It means a phantom. Right here. Look right there. A phantom. Figuratively an illusion. Let me let me tell you something. The human host body is the biggest illusion you could even imagine. It's it's really just a shell in which two different forces come together and your soul was trapped in there. And it these two forces, one is fighting to take you to the pit your entire life. That's the truth. Here you go. It shows it right here. Elohim said, let us make man in our phantom image, illusion. Read it for yourself. Hence, a representative figure, especially, see that word? Especially an idol, vain show. So they hate God. Let us make men in our vain show. So Genesis 2, 
is the Lord God putting his man into the system and he forms Adam, he forms man from the dust. But then he names his man Adam. Hebrew word 121. Now watch. Watch this. Hebrew word 121. We'll go to 1 Corinthians because now the Bible will prove it out. You'll never be led astray. You'll never be tricked again. 1 Corinthians 15.45. And so it is written, the first man, Adam. Hebrew, see right here, Hebrew word 121. It's G, it's, right here it says 76. 76. Adam, Hebrew word 121. Adam, the first man of Jesus. So that's Jesus' man in the system to commingle with Genesis 1 for his children that were led astray. They were lured as bait into a system. They were carried away captive and put into O's bodies at different points during history. You got your O's body, but you got to pay for it. Oh, you can't. Because your host body belongs to the angel of the bottomless pit. It's his trap. He owns the flesh. That's why you have to be born again. Let me ask you a question. If you're born in the image of the Lord God, why would you have to be born again? <laughs> Does that make any sense? No. But if you're born in the image of the angel of the bottomless pit in his little formation, you would have to be born again to become spiritual again. This is perfection in Dana. <laughs> it's like all glory to God. So yeah, so now watch 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 how they mock us. Ready? Watch them mock away. So they're they're saying they're wiping their butt with us. The shit just got real. You know why? Because their eyes just got open. Because everyone is becoming woke. What is woke? Male to female energy. I've been saying it over and over and over. Let me show you this same guy. Let me show you one more shirt that he's wearing. Ready? The same guy on the same platform. It says loading. You know, please wait. They're like, think of his host body. Loading energy. Male to female mtf 1326 get it woke <laughs> it's like dude that's it. this is just not even possible woke 13 loading male to female it's right on his shirt i mean you know i'm not just saying this i'm showing it to you it's on his shirt loading male to female please wait What's MTF? 1376. Woke. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Now watch this. And here's another shirt they're wearing. Now, without me going into all the disgustingness of, of Easter and Ishtar and the priests having sex with virgins and, and then killing the babies nine months later and all that, I don't know how much y'all know about what Easter really represents. Esther, Easter. Worshipping their mother goddess. You know, the whole egg hunt thing. It's all fertility ritual. So, look at this shirt that they have. Watch this. Ready? It says, And that's how Easter eggs are, ma are made. It's a white rabbit having sex with a black rabbit. And that's how Easter eggs are made. It's one race having sex with another race, light and dark commingling, and look, 2079, 2079, what a weird cost for a t-shirt, why didn't they just round it up to $21, why is it $20.79, that's kind of weird, right, I mean, honestly, I mean, why why not twenty nine dollars and eighty cents? Twenty nine, twenty dollars and seventy nine. Let's look up twenty seventy nine. I have it in here already for you. 
Uh huh. See, they're breeding. It means extremely, extremely, utterly to be at the extremity, to be in the extremis, to be at the last grasp point of death. And that's how Easter eggs are made. They know that they've bred us out of this system. Did you know back in the days of, you know, the knights, you know, back in like the times where you see where knights and all the, you know, guys that fought in jousting and, you know, the, the days of the knights. There was a thing, I think it was called Prima Facta. Did you know that a lord that owned the land, he could, if someone was getting married that lived on his lands, he could have sex with the upcoming bride before the husband. Did you know that? That's sick. They actually made an, an uh, they alluded to it in the movie Braveheart, I noticed. Because this is all a breeding thing. They're breeding out one race. They're wiping it out. Female energy is consuming male in the system. Male to female. Our Father who art in heaven. Hail Mary. Life to death. And I told you it was the end of the world. And death is coming for the entire world. Told you. So, here we go again. Perfect data again. I wonder how many times someone could hit this much perfect data and actually uh, try and claim it was there as you couldn't. This is not my data. I don't own any of this. I don't, I didn't figure this out. I, this is not, has nothing to do with me. I am simply a point of receiving it and distributing it. I work for the King of Kings. MTF, another shirt this guy's wearing. NTC Dream Mark 2822. Gee, I wonder what 2822 means. And so it's it's a male to female coming out from behind the scene. From behind the wall. Darkness and obscurity. Right there. Darkness and obscurity. Do you remember what the Vlad I wear tagline is? Come out of the darkness into the light. So, the woke culture, what does it mean? Male to female. That's what it means. Male to female energy. That's why the trans, the movement is huge. And, you know, like I've said this so many times, man, I have nothing to get against anyone that, because they're gay at all. I'm just talking about the spiritual mechanics that's going on behind the whole thing. I have, I still have people that I know that are gay that are friends and I, I treat them as I would treat anyone. You're, we're supposed to treat everyone with respect and kindness. Everyone. And I do. I mean, very, very, very much so. I love them just the same as I love y'all. I love everybody. There's people that really get under my skin sometimes and are really annoying. But Jesus loves all of us. Male to female. MTF. Woke. That's where the woke culture comes from now. Y'all got it? So... I wonder where that's ultimately going to lead to with this giant Jonathan says he's got this revelation. Y'all are going to freak out. It explains the whole world now. The whole world makes sense. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's all glory to God. All right, let me just check out just this thing. I don't want to, there's, I'm going to read you Acts 26, 26, 18. So Paul He's talking to Agrippa and he said he was called to open their eyes and turn them from darkness and obscurity to light from the power of Satan to God. Satan is darkness and God is light from darkness to light from Satan to God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are being sanctified by faith in me. Acts 26, 18. Acts 26, 18 is actually the tagline to Vlad Eyewear. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds? 
Come out of the darkness into the light with Vlad eyewear. Vampire is so good that even a vampire can come out and be in the sunlight now. That was all God's arrangement. All right, guys, now you know. Akab, decay, destruction, and ruin. And uh, it's taking over, and there's mass merchandising. It's a, it's a worldwide movement. Now, so is woke. So y'all know what's coming now. There's no doubt about it. Here you go. Akab. They're mass merchandising Portland, Oregon. There it is. You can't argue with this. There's the legend to the map right there. It's not all cops are bastards. It's not It's not a, all clitorises are beautiful either. It's a cob. A-C-A-B. What is it? Destruction and ruin. 1312 in the Bible. That's what it is. The Bible is their playbook. Who would ever thought that it was an alphanumeric system Using the Bible, there it is, a cob. A, one, C, three, A, one, B, two. Diaphthora, destruction, decay, and corruption. Now, because that's going on in the whole host body system, what do you think the Lord's God's going to do now? What do you think he's going to do? What did he do during Noah's day? Who am I? I'm the guy that told you. The Lord told me to warn everybody he's coming to destroy the earth with fire. Now do you believe me? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'd believe me now. There's too much information that proves it. All right, guys. Now I've got a revelation that we take all this and we put on all this. This just segues right into it and y'all are just going to be like, The whole Bible is just going to go. It's going to make so much sense now. Everything in the Bible is absolute perfection. Anyone that tells you this nonsense and this crap with the Mandela effect and the words of the Bible being changed are just, I mean, I'm sorry, they're delusional. Sorry, guys. My, my super comfy beanie that Tammy and Kemi made me was slipping. Yeah, so anyone that tells you that stuff, that's just another psyop. All that stuff is just... The Bible was written by the Lord God. It was written by the Lord God. He wrote it. And he writes it through host bodies. That's the same way the enemy takes over everything through host bodies. And so they take over this system because this system is their system, sort of. It is, but the Lord God rules over it all. Dude, listen, I mean, I mean, are y'all ready for just like some truth? <laughs> yeah, y'all ready for some just like, uh, just truth. I'll drop a bomb on you right now. Ready? Hang on one sec. I'm going to heat up, go heat up your coffee, and I'm just going to drop a bomb on you that you're just going to be like, <laughs> and then I'll give you a big hug. We'll all go to bed. <laughs> And then we'll get up tomorrow and I'll get all the other stuff ready to roll in the next couple of days. It'll take me. It's probably going to take like a week to be able to put everything together to deliver it with all the scriptures. So when I deliver it, everyone's just like, oh, my gosh, Johnny was not kidding. The Lord God revealed to him that which has been kept secret from the beginning. Absolutely. You know, like guys, y'all know that I know I'm, you know, I know I'm gregarious and I, know I get excited about stuff because I love sharing this with you guys. Y'all have no idea how much I've suffered. I have suffered so much to get this. Why do you think I'm so excited now? Because I know I've gotten to the end of, it's like, my goodness, the mysteries of the Bible, the King of Kings is revealed to me. Why wouldn't I just be full of joy? I mean, it's like, of course. So now I get to deliver the goods. And so I'm really excited and I want to do a good job. I don't want to just, you know, kind of haphazard. I mean, this is, this is, this is all going to echo in eternity forever and ever and ever. And so I want to do a good job. It's okay. I want to make my father in heaven happy. I want him to be proud of me. I want to do the best I can. He he died on a cross so I could do this. You know, I mean, he saved my soul. So he paid for it with his blood. 
So I want to make sure I do a good job and I want to be a good kid. I want to be obedient. I want to be like, whatever you want. You want me to go die in the desert? Let's go die in the desert. <laughs> it's like, whatever you want to do. So I want to do a good job. But here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to give you another dose of truth. Okay, y'all remember Ezekiel? I am against you women, wherewith you hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. Now, remember, the pillows like a wasp nest has the little white bumps on them. So they hunt the souls of men above ground, Bluetooth line to the pit. Picture a little pillow like a wasp nest, and that Bluetooth line is what's going to come out and hatch from that angel that's being Bluetooth everywhere he goes. When he dies, he goes to that one, and that one comes out. You hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. Well, let me show you a really good picture of that. I kind of give you an example of a, ta a tattoo that just is like, ay, 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 ay. I want to show you this. Hang on one sec. One moment. Okay, so I'm going to show you this because I told you I'm just going to drop another bomb on you just to give you a little more like, <gasps> just a little more freak out before I close out this video. Okay, I'm against you women wherewith you hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. Well, they hunt the souls of men with their vaginas. That is the way they do it. That is that is the hunting tool and mechanism. So let me show you a tattoo on this girl's arm right here. You see the beetle right here? Well, do you know what you're looking at? That represents female, the vulva, right here. Watch. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to enlarge this with some very rudimentary drawings. There you go. You see this? You see this? You see this? You see what you're looking at? She had this tattoo done on her elbow to represent this right here, this right here. She used a beetle because there's a race from the pit that are, it's an insect race. Scorpions from the pit. Revelation 9. They had a king over them. The angel of the bottomless pit. Who is they? They had tails like unto scorpions. The locusts from the pit. They have a king over them. Who's their king? Apollyon. Apollyon is Satan. So Satan is a scorpion king. He's the king of the scorpions from the pit. He's the king of the, the locusts. And they use all kinds of insects to delineate this right in front of you all the time, mocking you. Now watch. You see that girl with that tattoo? Watch this. Then she opens up her arm because getting you trapped in that makes one of them fly. You see it? That's why she did that. One represents the vagina. And we got one of you, and we've turned one of y'all into another one of us. That's what this is. Now, I know just how mind-boggling this information is, but I can guarantee you I can prove it a thousand times a day, over and over and over and over again. I know y'all have seen it. So, now that I showed you that, picture just to kind of give you a mental let me show you another scripture okay so now when i give this to you i don't want everybody oh freaking <laughs> i know everybody gets a lot of people get really weird but you got to remember the whole earth is female mother earth mother earth mother nature mother goddess and we'll get into this later. Don't worry. I told you there's more revelation coming that's going to leave your jaw unhinged. But the Bible says in the New Testament as well as the Old Testament, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Right? Let me go to Isaiah 60, 66. Thus saith the Lord that the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. A foot as used by walking by implication a step. Pudenda. See it right there?
a person's external genitals. Then it says, especially a woman's. However, when you understand the entire system, it's a male-female energy thing. I've been telling you the night I got saved, our father, male to female. Everything I've told you has been true. Heaven is my throne. Earth is my pedenda footstool. It's used for the transfer of energy. The Lord had me reverse everything, back engineer it for you, so you can understand it in its most basic component form, so you can fully understand it, which is the only way to fully understand it, to get emotions out of it, and just like, he had me reverse engineer life for you, is what he had me do. And so now I can prove it all day long. Why do you think the largest altar in the world is a penis and a vagina and a dead sheep? Why do you think the the COVID mobile is Anubis, the god of death? Because the god of death is awakening now in the host body system. He's woke. And that's manifested by all the little host bodies that he's woke in. Do you get it? you understand? Male to female. The Lord God is male. Elohim is female energy. Wait till you see where it all goes. <laughs> it's like uh, y'all are going to be like, <laughs> y'all are going to have white knuckles just gripping your chairs. It's so crazy. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Anyway, I think you guys are probably overloaded right now. Everyone's probably like, <gasps> stay away from the caffeine tonight, okay? <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Uh, sometimes I almost feel bad like dropping these bombs on <laughs> Let me show you one more thing. Uh, just this will help with what I just showed you. Okay. Um, so one way just to kind of keep things in context is always the Bible. Um, I think we're going to Proverbs five. My son, attend unto thy wisdom and bow thine ear unto my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips. Of a strange woman, it means through the idea of termination, the lip as a natural boundary. The lips of a strange woman, a foreigner to turn aside. Uh, let's see, the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb. Why do you think the largest altar in the world has honeycombs all above the top? Why do you think semen is melting into, high angels melting into semen like honey? It's all made of gold right above a honeycomb. People say, click, you're obsessed with penises and vaginas. I'm like, no, the system is, and I'm in the system. But now I can see the system. I couldn't see it before I got saved. But now I can see it all, obviously. So now, when you read through Proverbs 5, But her end is as bitter as wormwood to curse. Her end, her end is as bitter as wormwood Sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Okay, y'all ready? Her feet. Pudenda. Same exact word. Because think of her as having a Bluetooth down to the pit. Just like the girl with that tattoo. That's a vagina on her. That's a vagina. And when you open it up, it turns into a flying insect. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. That's a fact. I just showed it to you. So, everything I've showed you is true. All of it. Anyway, so, that's how the energy transfer takes place. You understand? The host body system is an energy transference system. It looks like, oh, well, I get married and kids and yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got stuck in the system, you do all those things. I got stuck in it. And I, I just came to the point, I'm like, none of this makes any sense. It really doesn't. 
doesn't didn't make any sense whatsoever. There has to be something that's like bigger and makes more sense of the world than, you know, what I go work really, I go work, I do all these different things, you know, start businesses, skydiving, girls, 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 you know, kids trying to make it all work. It's like, dude, what's all this for? For what? And then, then I, I mean, it's like, and I'm born into this system where I'm, I'm going to go to hell unless I get saved. Save from what? Myself. Save from myself. Because I let myself become my own worst enemy by linking up to another spiritual source, which is spiritual adultery. That's why the Bible says, you adulterers and adulteresses, cleanse your hearts, you double-minded. It's always double. Cleanse your hearts, you double-minded. All right, guys. I think y'all have probably had enough. The whole society is woke now. It's becoming woke, 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 woke. They're, if you don't go along with them, it's a cancel culture. They cancel you out. They The mob will come against you. That's the way it's going to be, and it's just going to intensify, intensify, and then all hell is going to break loose. World wars, wars, rumors of wars. It's going on right now. Earthquakes in diverse places. It's happening right now. Famines, pestilence. Here it is. Welcome to the world of good and evil. It's here. We're there. We're arriving. So, all right, guys. I love you in Christ. I don't want to just keep, but I love you in Christ. There's your data for the day. If you'd like to go through the data yourself and you'd like to look at some of this stuff, there's Album 5 Part 2. Uh, some of this stuff in here, you know, I haven't really talked about. Some of it we'll be getting to in, in another video. Um, but... If you want to see the stuff I've already shown you, you can look into Album 5 Part 2, and you can see all the stuff I just showed you. Uh, I mean, you know, like, just, just look at Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is doing the same exact thing as the top of the Sistine Chapel. That's supposed to be God touching the hand of Adam. It's really an old woman with her tongue sticking out. There's the old woman's eye. There's her nose. There's a tongue sticking out. There's her white hair. So, see, their their God, their God is a female mother goddess, and the reason they portray her as an old woman is because uh, she was like desolate until she got the energy she needed for the entire system, which was God's angels. Lucifer is the light bringer. He brought the light. We are the light that God brought. We got brought from light to darkness. Now we got to go from darkness to light. That's why you got to be born again. That's why you have to be converted. Now it all makes sense, doesn't it? All glory to God. All right, guys. I love you. His purpose was to create one new man from the two, thus making peace. The enemy's purpose was to make one man from the two, but his purpose was wholly different, not to make peace, to do the opposite, to bring death and destruction to God's children. And God bought you back on a cross. The Lord God. I'm not going to say God anymore because he's not God. Our, our, our king is the Lord God. He is not God. He is the Lord God Almighty. All right, guys. Ready? Give me your best hug. Let's have it. I want it. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for letting me minister to you. Thank you for putting up with me. I know sometimes I get a little just out there, but you got to take what you get. All right. Hug. Ready? Ready? Group hug. Everybody got your pillow. Grab your pillow. Pause this. Go to your room. Get your favorite teddy bear. If your cat is close by, your dog, your kid, your hubby, whatever, just group hug. Everybody get a hug. Everybody needs a hug. All right. There you go. It's going to be okay. Things are going to be okay. You're going to be okay. If you're in Christ, you know, don't fear those that can kill the body. Fear the one that can kill the body and throw your soul into hell. That's the one you fear. 
the fear of God, the fear of the Lord God, is the beginning of all wisdom and all knowledge. Fear of the Lord God. Those that don't have any fear of the Lord God, it's like, ay, 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 ay. That's where you step off into the mud. That's where I did. All right, guys. God bless you. And I will see you very, very, very soon with a revelation that will turn the world upside down. I guarantee it.